ordered a small travel set of Van Gogh watercolors in pinks and violets. So I'm going to go inside it and do a swatch if anybody wants to come with me. Them's my tatas. And here we have them. Um, the pinks and violets pocket box by Van Gogh. Nice. I got this on eBay. Uh, they are available for, I believe, 23 and change on Amazon. Ooh, I'm going to have to unwrap all these guys. And it did come with a... I never used one of these before, so... Ah, you saw that? Very cool. So, oh, that's very chill. I'll go get that soaker, maybe. Um, like I said in the last one for the Boku Undos, um, I'm very much a beginner when it comes to watercolor, but I've been using them with resin, as you can see in these charms. Oh, good job, me. Well, little charms, because I do make um, a fair amount of jewelry, so... Like, when worlds collide, I got my little Sailor Jerry, did this last night, and um, I <laughs> used the Boku Undos on the, on the shaft. But, let's get into these. So this is my, only my third set of watercolors ever. This is what I have been using for the past year. And I got it a few years ago, but I only really started using it relatively recently. And then the Boku Undos are way too much fun. They're very opaque. And um, I still haven't got to try it on black paper yet, but probably soon I'll remember to order a, um, a pad. Let's start getting these guys open. This is the Carmine. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm going to kind of rush through these, getting these open. I should have said the name. This is the uh the what? Where is that box? What does that say? Um oh, something just fell out of it. It's probably a bead. Anyway, it's the China. Oh god, I'm gonna make an ass out of myself. The China Crindon Rosa. I'm probably mistaken. Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh, this is Matter Lake Light. Matter Lake Light. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like that. I love reds and fuchsias and like juicy colors like that, so I was really stoked when I found this. Oh, uh, this is um, Permanent Blue Violet. Blue Violet also. When I was a kid, there was like um, a colored pencil that was... I think it was just called Blue Violet. It was one of the first colors I fell in love with. We got some lavender. Ooh. Very nice. I've never had a color like that before. Lavender. I mean, purple and white, but I'm never ready to go lavender. Rose. I bet this is going to be my favorite. Yeah, yeah, it's a very hot pink. I love it. Oh. Tick -a -tick 
ticket 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 boom dusk violet Oh, it almost looks black. I cannot wait to get up on these with some water. This is Kina Kudron Purple Blue. Maybe that didn't say China. <laughs> Kudron Kina. Um, it says it in six different languages on both sides, which I love packaging that does that because I am quite a fan of languages worldwide. I love picking up even just single words. I just uh, love it. Um, purple, red. Ooh, I can't believe how dark they look like black. They literally look black. I got some printer paper here and some uh, cheap watercolor paper to, because I, I paint on anything that absorbs, I'm not very, I'm sure I'll become more preferential. Dusk pink. <laughs> Dusk pink. <laughs> that looks black. I can, I just can't wait. Like, how is that, how is that pink? Don't. No, the sorcery yet. Permanent violet. Permanent red violet. I should have, like... Uh, oh, I should have wrote... Um, how am I going to figure out which ones these are again? Because I don't think it says on the tins. Oh. It does not say on the tins. Okay, well... I guess I'll just forget their names and make my own names up. Oh well. I know that one's lavender. Yeah. So I'm just going to use the panic or pa brush it came with, which is this fancy retractable thing. I've only ever used makeup brushes, like uh, cheap like dollar store brushes or this guy, but the tip is getting a little worn, so I'm excited to be getting some more things to bang with. Okay, so, um, let's get started. So I'm going to start with this color, which I have no recollection. Like, I really wish it said, oh, I wish it said, 327. I have the numbers, so 327. This is, oh, it's a lot of water. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. I should have had some doodles ready to go. That's really nice. So I'm gonna get some more so I can see the vibrancy. And then some just like. I should have done like uh, squares or something. I don't know. Or something like that. Anyway, this is that. 327. So I could probably. Oh, I could look on these. Gosh. This is a direct representation of how my mind works on a daily basis. Oh, close. No cigar. Three twenty-seven. This is the Matter Lake Light. How could I forget that? So uh, maybe I'll like write it on it or something. Let me grab a pen. I got my quaint little basket. I keep all my pens on. So this one is what is it? <laughs> Matter Lake Light. I'll get it right here. Matter Lake Light. 
How's my battery? I don't even know. Okay, so let me run through this. Give me a minute. So, next is 331. Oh, oops. Oh, 331. Oh, wait. I did not. 331. Matter like light. And this is 331. Matter like light. Matter like what? Huh. Where's the part that rubs? Matter. Okay, matter like deep. This is matter like deep. Okay, 331, matter like deep. I'm gonna use this paper here. I'm just gonna clean that up. Matter like deep. Ooh, okay, I like that a lot. I can't wait to draw some ladies with blushy cheeks and exposed meeps. Oh, that's nice. Ain't that nice? I need to learn how to use these. Matter Lake Deep, which is more of a pink, and the Matter Lake Light is more of a red. Uh, so let's do 366. 366 is going to be... Uh, 366. Oh, that's that. Kina Cridone. Kina Cridone Road. Kina Crudone Rose. 366 Kina Crudone. I know I'm saying that wrong. Rose. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's going to be hard to keep it off my face. It's so pretty. Nice red. Next we have 567. 567, that is permanent red violet. Sixty-seven. This one looks black. Right, so cool. Oh wow! So that's just kind of like a, your, your good old purple there. I'm wondering if these are like out of order, but I don't think so. Okay, well that's permanent red violet, and so very purpley purple. I love it. Um, a little taken by the red, but you know, colors, are, I'm not an expert in the beautiful field of colors. I have started doing a little more research on pigments, though, because it's like, whoa, very heavily interesting. And um, I'm starting to get all the supplies that I need for making my own watercolors. I just got, oh, I guess I lost it. I got the acacia powder around here somewhere. Next is 592. 592. Close. Mm -hmm. This is one. Mm -hmm. I bet this is driving. Whoever comes across this video, absolutely nuts. Where's 592? 592. Um. Uh, Kina Cridone Purple Red. Don't mind my handwriting. I'm very bad with 
print and a cursive gal. So this is five ninety two. Can't Oh. Yeah, these are not in order because this is the lavender. Darn it. So does it have the numbers on the tens? Three seven three. Is that one of the numbers? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Dang. Okay. Disregard any I can't believe. This is lavender. It has to be. There's I don't know. I thought something was up because I was like, this is purple. But alright. This disregard these. Um I am going to make another swatch. Well, probably not, because this is just going to be thrown in my uh, basket, so this is fine for just a quick reference of what the colors can do. And so now we're just going to run through them. So that was the lavender. Pretty lady. And this is, I should have pulled up first, 560. Um, this is Dusk Violet. Oh, yeah, that's dusky. That is dusky, dusty, dusky. But really pretty, like, oh my god, I can imagine, like, the eerie scenery that this is going to create. Dusk Violet. Should I, like, okay, so... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Help! Alright. So, dusk, I don't know why I'm writing this still, because this one's, ah. <laughs> welcome to my mind. Okay, so the next one, we only got five more, so we're just, good job, gonna go through them. 567, so we know that is, per this is permanent red violet. That, that makes more sense. Oh, oh god, it's beautiful. Okay, that has this, and this mystery color is, I think, my favorite so far. I do play favorites. This one, three, ooh, 373. So this is probably going to be the... Where? Um, da -da 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 -da. Dusk pink. Oh, wrong one. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Dusk pink. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, I wish I connected them all. They're so pretty together. They did a really good job with that. So dusk pink. It has a little bit more pink than the violet, which is more of like, um, I read it as gray. Like a grayish violet. And then this. Oh yeah. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna have to grab another paper. So this is the... 331. I cannot believe how this went. 331. Matter Lake Dark, I'm guessing. Crappen La Kadunko. Oh, I love that. Magenta. Oh, I love that. I love it so much. Oh, I love that so much. God, I wish I... What's the point of putting them on a little map? I should have just paid attention and, like, you know, known to, yeah. Anyway. So, this, I don't know why I keep putting water on it before pulling it out. But this is 593. This is the... The Kina Crudon Purple Blue. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I guess the point of this video is just to show you how beautiful the spread is because, um, like I said, I really love purples and pinks, like juicy colors, like, like the whole image, purples and pinks and like maybe green shadows and stuff like that. So when I saw 
pinks and violets in a kit all ready to go. Uh, I said, Daddy, can I? No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I ordered them. <laughs> so, here you have it. Here is a horrible swatch of um, beautiful colors from the Van Gogh travel kit. I am absolutely in love. And I'm very stoked to have, you know, some colors to work with now. All these together, it was like a handful of bucks. So this, I think it was like 12 something, like a long time ago. But I just won one um, for, to have another so um, I could paint with peeps. I think it was $9 for the same thing. And then I said this one was 9 uh, usually 12 to 15 on eBay, but you can find them cheaper, and got a lot of room up in there, and this, um, this was more of a splurge, I guess you would say, because it was, like, you know, getting into the 20s, but it's so worth it, and, um, like, I have a few more kits coming that are well under $20, um, because, for the same price as like the ch low quality watercolors, but for the same price, as long as you know like the names, there's a short list of like very much quality and very affordable names. Like the Van Gogh, they do have pricey stuff, but they have very affordable stuff. Winsor Newton, same thing. And um, Koi, which is by Sakura. And then uh, these Boku Undos that come in at every color under the sun. And, um, I also found this stuff called Opalescent Medium, and, um, because I was going to get a larger kit of metallic, so I'm just going to get the Opalescent Medium, because then every kit you have is a metallic. And, um, as well as there's other stuff, I forgot what it's called already, but, like, for eyeballs and stuff, if you don't want any paint there, you paint this stuff on it. At the end of your drawing, you erase it, and it comes off, and it's like perfectly, you know, you know, preserved paper, bright white, crisp, like all that, um, and, uh, I have my eyes on some makeup brush kits, because, just, um, I'm very, very enamored with Sailor Moon, actually, um, Sailor Moon products, there's just something so magic about them, I don't wear makeup, but I always wanted a pack of Sailor Moon brushes, because, they look like they're straight out of, like, a sci-fi movie or, like, a fantasy film or something or a comic. And, um, I pretty much only use makeup brushes. Uh, most of these are makeup brushes. I think they're, like, an old Costco Kirkland set. And, um, and I, like I said, I don't know how to use them for my face, so. I use them for the paints. And, well, thank y'all, whoever joins me today. Um, I have... A few more kits, uh, travel kits coming, and I'm just gonna do like this, do a little unboxing and swatch making, just, you know, to throw up some information in case anybody's looking to get watercolors and don't know where to start, and I'm very much a beginner, um, so, you know, I don't like, um, and, uh, obviously unbiased, this is this video is very much not so sponsored, but, you know, I started doing a little, I'm very not good with colors, like, I don't know what it is, it makes me nervous, a little Hathor, um, but watercolors are so forgiving, and it's really like, so today I'm going to use the pinks on this, I don't know if you could see, you know, she's got eyes around, but, um, yeah, very excited. Oh, I can show y'all this since it's right here. I also paint leaves with the watercolors. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's my worry dolls. Every order comes with a worry doll. Anyway, I use watercolors on leaves because then I could punch them out with my little punch. I have birds and bees. Hello. An old Martha Stewart punch. I can show you an example. So that looks really nice. I have it right. Yeah, like that. Boom. And then what I 
do with this is I coat it in resin and they make really, really pretty earrings. I have a pair over here somewhere. Um, uh, this is nice. I made a little evil eye with some puffy paint and some sequins. And I uh, took some salvage electrical wire to make this bracelet. Oh, I wish y'all could see my shirt today. I found this vintage 1960s poochie blouse. I'm obsessed with it. It was so breathable. Um, where are these earrings? I want to show you. Well, anyway, I could do that some other time, I suppose. I got a bunch of projects in the work in here in my little factory laboratory. I just made um, some Nefertiti rings. These look pretty. My mom says um, wearing opal is bad luck if it's not your birthstone. So I made her some uh, faux opal, some faux opal. There you go. Um, I really can't find these. I thought I had them right here. Alright, well toodle doo. Uh, like Green Dean of Eat My Weed says, toodles. Much better. Now you can see all the proper names to the proper pigments. Matter Lake Light, Matter Lake Dark, Carmine, Kinecrodome, Kinecrodome Rose, Rose, Permanent Rose Violet, Permanent Blue Violet, Kinecrodome Purple Red, Kinecrodome, Purple Blue, Lavender, Dusk Pink, and Dusk Violet. <laughs> got some jewels of opar, got curry tree, got some mulberries here, and there's a tropical sage over here somewhere.